So I just want to talk about this um, <clears throat> this news. This so essentially some substitute teacher pretty much essentially uh, called what some kid was doing when he was wearing a mask with the uh, the pro police blue lives matter mask. He called him racist, and he's saying that's not the American flag, but that's the new Confederacy flag. All right, so this is how crazy America has gotten over the last three years. Um, and I think this is a white teacher. I don't know. I mean, they blurred him out. He looks like he's white or whatever. Um, white people, you at this point, are your worst enemies, all right? Well, maybe your worst enemies are white people who are just absolutely lunatics at this point. First of all, I just wanna say that nobody likes the cops, all right? Uh, nobody likes the cops. Even people on the right I've spoken to don't like the cops, all right? The assholes, yes, I've even said this before, the assholes. Um, when I was poor and I had very little money and I was driving uh, a crappy car, uh, these cops would stop me all the time and give me tickets. All right, hated the red light cameras because kept on getting getting tickets. Uh, cops would take forever to come if you get into an accident, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And whenever you would, whenever I would go into a precinct for whatever reason, I would always get like the just absolute asshole. Um, attitudes from them. All right, so I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of cops. I will admit that I'm not a huge fan of cops. N never was. Uh, there was even a time when if I heard that some cop got shot or whatever, I um, I would like I would say, you know, I I would look at in context to all the times where I've been treated badly by cops and, I'm, and, and I would just go well, maybe they had it coming that you know so I'm not a fan of cops I'm gonna put that out there right now all right but here's the caveat to this all right blue lives do matter all right uh, I'm logical enough to know that they need to exist all right you can't have society without police officers. For, for with without police officers, you would have anarchy. All right, uh, police officers are human. Um, yes, they're assholes. That's a fact. They uh, act like assholes. Yes, they have attitudes. Yes, but you know, um, that's just part of the job. All right, you need to portray. An authority figure if you are police officers because it's dangerous out there it's just absolutely dangerous out there they go out there particularly these days knowing that they might not come home or they could be seriously injured or they could right these people give their lives is what I'm saying so there's always good and bad in everything but you know as as with anything you know, you're going to have your good cops, you're going to have your bad cops. And it's like the worst thing if you have a bad cop because they're an authority figure and they're both a bad cop at the same time. That's like an abuse of power, which exists, obviously exists. But but we're in a point now where all cops are considered bad. You know, like like uh, that whole incident a couple of days ago where some black dude criminal probably got shot by a bunch of cops he probably had it coming there's now a thousand people protest out there in Minnesota for that but for that one piece of garbage for that one piece of garbage but there was a black guy in Vegas who mowed down a nine white pe nine white people do I see a thousand, do I see like 9,000 people, 9,000 white people marching for White Lives Matter? It's horrendous that you guys are not doing that. It's horrendous. I understand a lot of people don't got, a lot of black people don't got jobs. I understand a lot of black people are just, 
living on food stamps and uh, welfare and stuff like that. They ain't got. They don't really have like stuff to do, and they could go out marching anytime they want. Which is another. This is another thing. But I think at this point, this is essentially a soft race war. All right, what this is, but at the very least, it's absolutely illogical. Uh, at the very least, to have a white person being brainwashed by the media at such a level that he's going out pointing to somebody who's just wearing uh, a mask with the police blue lives matter out there and and saying that that's the new confederate flag is just insane to me all right um i just want to tell white people bro you guys don't live around black people, right? You guys don't live in the hood. You guys don't live. A lot of these white people who who are just ultra liberal, Neil Young, that guitar player with Bruce Springsteen, Joni Mitchell, um, you know, all these people do not live, all these people do not live in black neighborhoods, all right? They live in the richest white neighborhoods. For them to be going out there and, and just trying to fight for racism, if I would understand if they actually lived in a black neighborhood for a good period of time because I'm sure if they did, these people would have an absolutely change of mind with how they perceive the world, all right? Um, you know, it's, you know, when people say thugs when people say black crime when people you know point the finger at black people they're pointing the finger at at uh what they see on a regular basis what they know on a regular basis that there are as many bad black people out there as there are with white people or anybody else all right the problem with the media is they want to make black people to be just untouchable as far as you can't criticize them you can't say that they are evil or bad or criminals etc etc but you can say that about whites you can say that about Asians you can say that about Mexicans you can say that about, but you can't say that about black people which essentially uh, you're actually putting black people on a, on a pedestal which is wrong. Black people are as trash as anybody else is at. They're as garbage as anybody else. They're as racist as anybody else. Uh, and the media really, really, really need to stop, stop, stop uh, pushing the victimization of black people uh, and, and as an excuse for everything that they are guilty of doing. It's just crazy how the media in 2021, I remember the media in 1995 was pretty fair. In 1991, this media is just pro, it's just pro-black. They're not pro-white. They're not pro-Asian. They're not, what the, you know, um, ever since cancel culture, they're now kind of inclusive of other minorities but pre-2017 they were absolutely horrendous towards Asian Americans Latino Americans gay Americans Arab Americans they couldn't give a crap about them and we're talking about maybe like four years ago five years ago at most so uh, essentially this video is like fuck the media it's essentially what I'm saying it's like fuck the media which is doesn't really have much to do with, with this new story, but it does if you think about it. Because this guy, uh, this white dude, uh, substitute teacher, is absolutely brainwashed by the media to think that, you know, anything that looks like it could promote right in society is going against the victimization of black people. Which is insane. 
We live in an insane, 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 insane world at this point. People, get your head out of your asses, okay? You guys need to see this for what it is. This is a soft race war, and the media is brainwashing illogical people, people who have no sense of logic when when they think about this stuff and and they're empowering this these people to just do the wrong things anyway uh that's my video